I'm going to come back over here and just select all of these stakes. And then I want to make sure that I've assigned them to the correct design layer. So here in OIP under the layer field, I'm going to move those to elevations. I do like to keep a copy of the actual elevations that made that site model. So the next step is we're going to come up here to the landmark menu, go down to create site model. And then this time it's going to be site model from source data. And this is the exact same dialog box that came up before. And so let's look at some of the settings that we need to pay attention to. Up here at the top, we can name this whatever we'd like. I'm going to go ahead and leave it site model. And then right next to that, it has a uh, keep source data. And I would say go ahead and select that. That way these eight stake tools won't be deleted and we can keep those on our elevation design layer. Down here under elevation settings, so what this is telling you is that your maximum elevation is three feet and that makes sense because that was the tallest elevation that we used um, for our stakes. And our lowest elevation is this minimum elevation, which in this particular case was 0.1 inch. I recommend selecting this extend minimum and max when needed. Essentially what that means is if we added a planter to the site that was a foot above um, the top elevation, so four feet tall, um, if we didn't have this selected, then we're going to get this pop-up me message asking you if you want to extend the minimum and maximum. And so, yes, of course we do. So go ahead and just select that right now. Then over here for our contour settings, so the minor contour intervals, that would be here under the preview, that would be these lighter, thinner green lines. And so um, how far do we want those spaced apart? And I think one foot can be helpful. Next up, we have the major contour multipliers. And what that means is that the major contour is going to be this darker, heavier line. And so how often do we want to see that? I'm going to say, let's go ahead and every 10 feet, I want to have a major contour multiplier. And then this is the most important field that you're going to set here under the site model settings, and that is the use site modifiers on. In this drop down menu, you want to be sure that you have selected all layers, because if you have it so that it's same layer as site model or selected layers, and if that site modifier just happens to be on a different layer, then you won't see that modifier change the site model and it can be difficult to go back and sort of track things around. So while you're beginners, it's just easiest to select all layers right here. In our next pane, we need to come over and look at the 2D display. And so for 2D display, we wanna change this from existing only to proposed and existing. That means that you'll be able to see not only the existing, which are going to be the green contour lines um, of your site model, but you're also going to be able to see that as you add site modifiers, how that's changed the elevation of the terrain. The other thing that I'm going to recommend is that under style that you use 2D contours smooth. Next under 3D display, we want to change this display from existing only to proposed only. Um, so the 3D display and the 2D display are different in that the 2D display, you can show both the existing and proposed at the same time, but in 3D, you have to pick one or the other. And so you're usually going to want to look at the proposed only. Then here under style, we do want the 3D mesh. Um, whether or not you show the skirt is up to you. My preference is not to show the skirt. It's easier to find things that are underneath the site model. Um, sometimes things that should be on top of the site model, they fall to the Z0 elevation and it's easier to find them if you don't have your skirt on. So I recommend deselecting that. And then the other thing that you're going to want to select is right here for mesh smoothing. Um, select that and then a crease angle of 60 degrees is good. So that's everything for our site model settings. Go ahead and click OK. And then you can see that we now have our site model and that it does have a little bit of elevation there between, and let me zoom in real close because of course I overdrew my site model. And so you can 
see this part just a little bit of the property line right there so of course the street is here the parking strip is right there we've got a little bit of sidewalk then we would go up the path um, that goes to the house now that I've created my site model, I'm going to come over here to OIP and I'm going to assign it a new layer. So I'm going to come over here and I want that to live on the site model design layer. Let's come back over here and change our layer options to show snap modify others. 